Do you want to increase your serotonin naturally to be in a better mood? Then let's talk about the best nootropics and supplements that can help you out. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. And if this interests you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Today, I'm gonna talk about serotonin. What is serotonin? What are the symptoms of too low or too much serotonin in your body? And I'll share with you the best ways and especially the best nootropics to increase your serotonin naturally. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite nootropic supplement that can help you out. So if you're ready, let's just begin. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that sends signals between the cells. It is mainly found in your digestive system, but you can also find it uh, in the central nervous system. Now, low levels of serotonin are associated with depression, with anxiety, poor sleep, and other mood disorders. But if you have too much serotonin in your body, this can cause diarrhea, headaches, confusion, and even shivering. So you kind of need to balance serotonin levels to be in the best mood. Now, the actual role of serotonin is to regulate your mood, to regulate your sleep, and to actually prevent anxiety and depression. And that's why people who have normal levels of serotonin feel very happy, they're calm, and can be much more focused. So, how can you increase serotonin? First of all, you need to know that serotonin is made from an amino acid called L-tryptophan. And L-tryptophan is found in many different foods such as tofu, such as chia seeds and other seeds. You can find it in spirulina as well. So to increase it, you need to eat lots of those foods. In addition, I highly recommend combining those foods with complex carbs such as sweet potatoes, oatmeal, etc. because those can increase insulin levels. And when insulin levels are increased, L-tryptophan can easily enter your brain. And for better nutrient absorption, add some healthy fats to your meals. By the way guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Now, how about nootropics and supplements? Well, the most popular nootropic for increasing serotonin level is probably 5-HTP because 5-HTP is a precursor of serotonin, which means that it actually turns into serotonin when it enters your body. And actually, 5-HTP is given to people who have been taking uh, antidepressants called SSRIs and want to stop taking them. So instead of taking antidepressants, many people actually go and take 5-HTP. But to do that, you need to consult your doctor to be on the safe side. Now, the recommended daily dosage is about 300 to 500 milligrams per day, and you need to take it with food. And to learn more about 5-HTP, click up and watch this video here. L-tryptophan, as I mentioned before, is an amino acid that turns into 5-HTP, and then this turns into serotonin. And it's a very popular anotropic that is found in many anotropic supplements, especially in sleep supplements. But the problem with L-tryptophan is that the daily recommend dosage has not been established yet. So it's kind of a hard to recommend it. Rhodiola rosea is an adaptogen herb and another nootropic that can increase serotonin levels, but also decrease your anxiety and stress and improve your well-being. And the recommended daily dosage of rhodiola is about 50 to 100 milligrams per day. To learn more about rhodiola, click up here. Now we have vitamin B6, not a typical nootropic, but an important vitamin that co-facilitates the transformation of 5-HTP uh, into serotonin. And that's why it's often added to popular nootropic stacks and supplements. And lastly, we have L-theanine, another popular amino acid that um, plays a role in modulating uh, different neurotransmitters, such as dopamine, GABA, and of course, serotonin. And the recommended daily dosage of L-theanine is about 100 to 200 milligrams. By the way, guys, do you wanna know how well does your brain work? Go through our free brain assessment, which you can find in the description below, and get your brain health score. Now, if you're not taking SSRIs, if you're not taking antidepressants, and you think your serotonin levels are too low, then you can find my favorite nootropic supplement that can help you out in the description below. Just check it out, you'll find additional information. Um, read it before you order it. Now, be careful guys. Too much serotonin can cause different problems, as I mentioned before, but it can also cause 
low levels of dopamine because when serotonin increases, generally dopamine decreases. This would mean that you may feel better, uh, you will be in a better mood, your sleep will be better, but you may become less motivated, you, have, you may have issues with focus and so on. So you need to control dopamine levels as well. And how to do it? Well, watch my next video on the best nootropics for dopamine. Thank you guys. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you soon again. Take care.